Alright guys, Team 3 I'm back with one Peace Banners video, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, another Forgotten Unit, uh, with shoutouts to Anas, I'm pretty sure that's how you say your name, uh, hopefully I didn't butcher that, for requesting uh, CP0 Luchi uh, during my, my VV video, so we're going to be taking a look at him today, and to see just how good he does, and honestly, I will say, just off the rip, he's still super super strong it's actually pretty easy to kill the meta right now with him uh there is a couple of matchups that aren't really the greatest and also like status effects and stuff that i'll get into at the end of the video like i always do um but for here we're just going to talk about his build and like i said this guy he's actually really good um it kind of surprised me how good he still does with his damage output and he's honestly one of the fun attackers that's ever came out in the game ever kind of like a pseudo runner he, i'll talk about that later that he does have which is really interesting for him to have um, for the metal set though, I'm going to be using Triple Boa. It's going to be a skill 1 when we have more treasure. And then it's also going to be uh, when we have less treasure, get damage increase. And then also when attacking the enemy around my enemy's treasure, you get a 5% damage increase. So it'll, it can kind of work. The whole metal set works in different situ situations. When we're fighting in people's flags, when we're losing, things like that. So it does work out at the end. It does sound a little bit weird, but it's not the. It's a pretty good actually. Um, for the uh, stats, it's uh, 4k, 900, and 200. Obviously, in a perfect world, I think I'd want a little bit more defense, but it's it works for what it is. It's just a little bit extra that I would want instead of HP, but um, yeah. For the uh, first skill, it's actually going to be a double skill, so it's going to be Life Return Paper Art Fighting Release. Um, so for the when you're in your basic uh, state, so I'll call it Attacker State or Runner State because it's a little bit easier. So when he's buffed the, the big state, the Attacker State, he turns into skinny mode and he uh, shoots out like a little disc that goes through uh, obstacles which is something for you to do know it's actually pretty nice that it does that and he goes into a skinny form um so for the first one it has knockback ignore obstacles that skill attack is 364 if you hit them it's a speed reduction by 10 percent for 20 seconds and then when um let's see there go when you're the skinny form and you shoot you shoot out the skill one you do this a uh, fireball they give it kind of like a trying to think about a unit that kind of, that kind of runs you off i guess like a better version of uh green ace's uh uh sun skill i forget what it's called uh entei i think it's called um so it's gonna be 407 which is pretty good it's in flame uh has a flame chance for uh eight seconds so it's gonna be 90 per tick so it's gonna be if i can do math correctly uh 720 i think if i'm doing that right hopefully <laughs> And then uh, also reduces their defense by 10%, and then the effect is for 20 seconds. And the cooldown for the skill is actually 14 seconds, which is really, really short, which is good. Uh, and then his bread and butter is going to be a uh, 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 Spots Ultimate Radius 6 King Pistol. 6 King Pistol. That's a little bit weird that they say that. It's the, um, what's that fucking gun? A Ro Ro Coal Gun, I think that's what it says it. Um, the green Lucci has it. So basically, it has two hits. Um, the more the normal one is uh, 566, which is pretty high. It also stuns, so if you can't are able to stun, it'll stun them uh, before you hit the second one, which is really nice to set up the other hit. Um, and then the other hit is 385, so it'd be almost around like 900 plus damage already off the bat. And then um, let's see, when you're doing when you're in your skinny form though, it only hits once. It has a knockback. Um, in your runner form should I say it's only 509 but it's good for the knockback uh, a good against people that can get uh, stunned off of flags so you can use it either or um, this is why I said it's very interesting that Bandai really gave this unit this and it's actually really cool that they give him different like the skills are different when he's in a different form now like think about it like against like gear 5 gear 5 can swap his uh 
his um, runner state and all that good stuff, but it's still the same skills in entirely. Um, he's kind of like a big mom, I guess, because when big mom goes into defender, she has a laser, but then when she turns into the runner, she has a um, the shock. But this one, it just alters his own skills instead of just switching off the rip. So that's just interesting for me to know. It just it, the different scenarios will require you to do different things with it. So that's just something for you to know. Um, so for his character traits, though, when uh, your character is afflicted with paper art fighting, so it's basically when you're in your skinny form, you get a speed increase by 10%, and also you get a 50% cap increase. It sounds good on paper, but the problem is he doesn't actually turn into a, a runner, so he doesn't have that inherent like runner's uh, cap speed. Um, so it does like it's okay, but it could be better. Like even at 80%, that would kind of be like basic, basic, basic runner uh, cap speed. So just something for you to know. Um, and then when you're uh, skinny, this is the only d uh, downgrade with it. So they make it not not too too overpowered at the time. You got a defense reduction by 10%, um, which I mean it's 10%, but it's still you know defense reduction. <laughs> like come on. Um, and then when you're attacked by uh, when attacked by an enemy, you get a five ch five percent chance to boost your defense by twenty percent for ten seconds. It's kind of like if he does like the Iron Body, the Tekai uh, from the anime, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't know that he had that. Um, and then when you when you KO an enemy, you get a fifteen percent heal, and then you get a defense boost by thirty percent for ten seconds, which is also really nice. Again, where HP is more uh, eighty percent or more, you get a resist stagger, which is good um, because the skills don't have it. Um, at least not that I know of it. Maybe I missed that. Hopefully I didn't. <laughs> when attacking an enemy, uh, you get a hundred percent chance to increase attack by three percent, which is interesting. For up until fifty percent, which is really strong. He does have a multi hit too. He does a claw slash, and then he does the finger pistol, and then um, a kick at the end. So you're gonna want to do the one two one two to move around too, and you have the multi hit to stack your attack, which is really nice. Um, it resets when you die, obviously, and then it also. Uh, resets cooldown time of skill 2 by 5% per hit, so he doesn't even need skill 2 if you can manage to hit your normal attacks, which is really good for him to have. Um, and then uh, after receiving damage from an enemy that's 50% or more, you get an HP, um, oh no, you get a reduction, sorry, of 30% instead of HP heal. And then the boosted trade is a usual attacker one. For the side unit, I'm going to be using a Frankie. This is going to be my best support as of right now, percentage-wise, by the way. Um, Frankie does have medals because I just took them off right now. It was just the uh, uh, What's it called the chopper set? So let's just ignore that. That was for somebody else uh, for another video um, For the uh, tags that was gonna be straw pirates premise captain new world a little bit of worst gen Attacker defender runner grand line. I was gonna do full worst gen, but I'll go up down to I think it's 169 which I would just want more You know stats just just to like show you how high I can get this guy to hit and like I said, he has a lot of things going for him right now. He actually does do fairly well against the meta. Lots of attack increase, heals are pretty nice, um, things that go through walls, knockback so you can get people off the flag. He's actually a pretty nice unit. I would recommend you guys to use him. He's actually pretty fucking strong and it very, very surprised me how many kills I've gotten in one match just with this guy alone. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, shout out to Anas for requesting this gameplay. Uh, let me know what you guys think about CP0 in the meta. Do you think he's good, bad, all that good stuff? Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want any other units for me to showcase besides people that the uh, units that people have already said, let me know in the comments down below. But with that being said, this team three are signed out. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.